Are live. Cool. More Jack and Daxter today. See how much more I can get through. Oh, wow. Two viewers. Cool. Thanks for coming in. Um, yeah, I've been streaming this from the living room. Um, I'm also trying to do Link's Awakening, working through that, trying to get the secret ending so I can't die once, but that's uh, more of a Saturday, so, more of a weekend thing. This Saturday, I'm actually going to be um, This Saturday, I'm actually going to be organizing a working collection. I did some inventory recently, and I have 95, 95 base games and like major expansions. I got a lot of major expansions to do. Um, but I don't count those in the inventory because that was way too much work. So, I, I'm going to be doing that. I got some super cool fabric boxes. Let's see if I can do a shot of the fresh. Um, yeah, I got some really neat fabric boxes. I think I'm going to be doing a Monopoly box, which is really exciting.
did the two things I was having trouble with last time in the first 10 minutes here. It was a pretty, pretty good stream so far. Um, yeah, and I'm planning on streaming more solitaire board games. I'd love to play more Oath, but it's like, after last time, it was so difficult to get everything to fit onto the table. So I'd basically have to pull out my big old folding table, which is a nightmare. I, I don't have any, like, decent spot for it in my room, because I only have, like, a 9 by 8 room, and the table itself is, like, 7 feet long, so I basically have to rearrange everything to fit it. Trade? Oh, wonderful. You brought me the precursor orbs. All right, I'll fix the bridge. But don't ask me to get involved in that creature again. Oh, hey, thanks, bud. Oh, this is not even a very good bridge. I still gotta jump across it.
genuinely, I really hate that sometimes the double jump just doesn't work. I hate how heavy they feel. Look at this, he like springs up, which is kind of nice. Like, I never feel like I'm getting him under it. And it always feels like he falls down a little too soon. Which, in, you know, a platformer, is a big deal. I've gotten all the orbs in that that room, so okay. I guess like I'm so happy about control because I was spoiled to um, Banjo Kazooie as a kid, which is a game with quite possibly the best platforming controls in camera ever. Like, it just feels so good. It feels so solid. The camera looks amazing. Like, it just works. And then I play a game like this, and I'm like, well, this is my best. So, like... it really frustrating when it's just sometimes unresponsive. I can almost say like often unresponsive. that why didn't it double jump I'm, I'm dead I'm dead I can't survive that why did it did jump double jump I hit the button I hit the button in a 
just did not work. Why do I have to meet the game in the middle to, like, actually enjoy it? You know? Like, the game is good. Like, I'm not saying it shouldn't require some amount of challenge, but it shouldn't require so much challenge in such basic maneuvers. I, I always think, okay, and it's not exactly an example, but it makes me think of an old Nintendo Power article for a fake game where they were talking about graphics in the, like, the N64 era. Or, like, maybe the game was. But basically, they were like, graphics are not really that important because you can make a game that takes a hundred hours where you're just trying to get a pair up a set of stairs called Pier Stairs and the thing is that's just even if it had the best graphics if it looked exactly perfect that wouldn't make it a good game so similarly that game was incredibly difficult and the movement took like that's why it took so long is because the movement is so incredibly difficult that would not just simply make it a good game. Right? And that wouldn't necessarily be a detractment. Like, Dark Souls is incredibly difficult, but that's the thing is that the base mechanic works. It works consistently. So, like, yes, it is very difficult to catch the combat in that game, but the game is focused around the combat, and when the combat. When you do poorly in the combat, it is due to your own ability. It's not due to any quirk of the game. Alright, I'm gonna take a quick break. Hit up the bathroom, stretch my legs. I recommend y'all do the same. Get a snack, get some water. Hydrate. It's good for you. I will be RB in just a moment.
All right, we're back. Ah, feeling refreshed. Um, here, here's another tip for y'all. Don't fall into the trap of, oh, exercise, I need to be in shape. So let me tell you, I exercise a lot and it is a mistake. My knees, my joints, my bones. I'm just like often in, in like some amount of pain. Because I, I do pretty intense weight training. Not even that intense, honestly. It's not like... Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Great. Um... Like... I work out generally four days a week. So like, arm day, leg day. Rest day, arm day, leg day. Two rest days. This last week, I did an extra leg day. Um, basically because I had, I had to put it off when I was usually doing it. Uh, Say goodnight, Jack! Sorry, getting some water. Um. So, yeah. These are uh, a great deal of work. Um. Got a couple of those, like. Dang. It's, uh, yeah, no. It's like sometimes you feel good, but most of the time you just feel sore. <laughs> it is kind of nice to be stronger, though. Like, uh, when I pick up my coat now, it hardly feels like anything. It's uh, it's, I, I, as I do more weight training, I'm just gonna call it weight training for now because I feel like calling it bodybuilding is it's not really that yet. I'd like to. Isn't there a. Um. Yeah, it's still. Not quite. Oh, the bumpers. Okay. It's not really intense enough to be considered bodybuilding. Although that is my eventual goal. Is to just like do actual bodybuilding. But yeah, I just often very tired and sore. Very hungry because I burn up so many calories now. And it's it's not necessarily fun. But the the more I do this training, the more I realize that it's kind of it's a form of self-harm and uh, masturbation, honestly. Because you it's so self-centered. It's just so you feel good about yourself. It hurts to do. But because we've decided like, well, getting in shape is like admirable. We're Necessarily is, but okay. Whatever. I, I think the main thing is like, um, in many cases, when it comes to things like self harm, the reason someone does it is because they don't feel a lot of agency in their life, and having the ability to directly directly affected in some way, which could even mean just, you know, an injury that they're able to, uh, watch heal and change, um, like, that, that gives them a sense of in some kind of way. And so, similarly, it's like, weight training, it has to do, and then at the end it's like, well, it's just like, definitely gives you that sense of accomplishment, like, yes, I'm doing something productive, I'm, 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 I'm changing my body, like, I, I don't know if it's necessarily healthy, but at the same time, like, I'm not a psychologist or a scientist, so... I just 
want to be strong. I just want to be fast. Get in there. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I've only... I've, I've been working out regularly for, uh, years, but that was with, like, five pound weight. And I was like, a ton of reps to get any kind of results. And so, uh... Yeah. Now that I'm actually able to go to the gym and use, like, this little size weight... Nothing, nothing too huge yet. I'm able to do much higher weights at least. They're still not even remotely impressive weights. Like, I can bend regularly. Like, I can probably bench a bit more than this. I haven't tried to do my max for the failure because I don't have a spotter. But, uh, like, my max... 100 pounds. Not very much. And I recognize that. It's a process, you know? I'm, I'm very large. And so even if I start building muscle, it's like, it'll take a lot of work for muscle to look all that impressive on my body. Just, be, just because of my height. Uh, but... Struggling on a song, I just go back to one that I had, I remember having trouble with in the past, and just practice that, and usually I'll have improved enough that it's like no problem, and so that's like a quick boost of confidence to be like, okay, I'm not struggling with this, but I was struggling with that nonsense too. And now I got, got no issues with it. Something I recommend is pretty much whatever you're working on, you know? It's like, go back to something that you just in that same vein. Just give that a shot. And you'll usually find that it's... It's no, not, not as hard as you want. Which is, you know, there's some heavy stuff in there, but it's like not. It's like mostly like played off in a more lighthearted tone. So um, yeah, if, get up to the intermission. There's an intermission in the middle, and pause there. Come back to it when you are in in a place where you can handle some more heavy stuff. But. If you can, I'd recommend the whole thing. Like, Teddy is very smart, super clever, so creative. I just... Even his mo more simple stuff there, like... He does, like, the... Because the whole thing is done, and I'm sure you know, but it's, like, it's all done by him in one room over the course of about a year during the pandemic. 
but like he's still able to do so much creative stuff stuff that he wouldn't be able to do on stage and he's all doing it all by himself he's got like yeah like a projector in there that like is able to do some really cool stuff um like there's one part where he has the camera that he's using connected to a projector played over him so there's like a slight delay I got a and then it just like cascades this. into this like constant Jack, delay the just, oh no is rising. oh that's not good oh crap crap god about the jump pad okay let's try that again doing I'm missing one and like three of those oh my god no idea where they could be um, where is this oh okay I I, I hit the mm. again I hit the double jump. I hit it. It just did not take. It, it would not listen. Is there like a certain point where it just won't give you the option? Like if you drop too far, it's like cancels it out? I don't know. I have no idea, but it's just incredibly annoying. a little more dangerous, 
and then orcs, who are still pretty minor, like, enemies, but they, they'll get you. Um, then... Yeah, everything above that, like, is on more list of things. Dragons! People always play dragons, it's kind of dumb, but, like, dragons are supposed to be incredibly intelligent. <laughs> They'll dumb down the dragons specifically so that they can have a dragon encounter in the early game. And it's like, I get it, they're one of the titular. They are the titular, like, the dungeons and the dragons. But, like, no, dragons are no joke. They're a super heavy foe. They will mess you up. The, the, I mean, the way that they... Drinking some water. Uh, let's see if this is a clue. Match the platform colors. I didn't even see colors on those platforms. I mean, I saw like blue, but I didn't see separate colors. Wait, for this to cycle. Uh, I think we have to switch on all those platforms or something. Yeah, I get that, Jack. How about you deck. take it easy on those hot pipes? God! Again, simple jump. But it just... I missed it. Through no fault of my own. I did to hit the jump exactly where it should have to, like, get me across. But I just, the jump just didn't take me far enough that time. What the... Again! Like, I feel like I've been playing this long enough that I understand the jumps, but no, sometimes they're just not far enough, sometimes they're not high enough, and it just doesn't make sense. It's just way too tight. It was supposed to be, like, a kid's game, right? Like, they can't have the platforming be this tight. You gotta give me some leeway. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh no, it seems like fell off of the last Whoops. Ma'am, stream. Again. On. Just make myself. Yeah, a freaking idiot. Okay, let's just think this through. Cells, all of the orbs, and obviously all of those. Cool. I'm done with the ancient precursor city. just to port the first two. And the worst part is, like, the music is such a huge experience to that game, as far as I'm concerned, and, like, yeah, if I stream it, I can't play any of the music. I have to turn the music off, which would feel so sad to me. Back in the place I haven't been yet. 
Oh, he freaked the barrels. I was just goofing and expecting to break. New barrel goofing. Old barrel goofing. Old game. Old game. Bad game. Game's so old. So old makes it makes it bad. Only well, bad. Only bad, bad, bad. Old games are bad and dumb. Silly and goofy. Yeah, Among Us. Five years is not that old. I'm pretty sure Fortnite is also about five years old at this point. I've been very frustrated with the platforming in this game. Because sometimes the double jump just doesn't work. Okay, I think I've figured out why. So if I'm just on flat ground, I can double jump. Right? I can double jump at any point, even when I'm almost touched. But like with most games, I'm like, I have a double jump, so if I jump off. I want to double jump again before I hit. But if you drop below the original surface, look at this. If I don't drop below, I can double jump. But if I drop below whatever surface I jumped off of, I can't double jump. So it like cancels out, I guess. So now that I know why it does it, at least I can predict it and not be so annoyed, but it's really frustrating. Box. Oh, nice. Uh, 100% of the, the underwater city. I... I like it. Um, it's the water that, like, turns deadly and not deadly is a bit annoying. And the ones where it's, like, the long platform that, like, goes back and forth under electricity that you have to jump back and forth over it can be real frustrating because um that the like electric thing is so high up that you basically have to perfectly go to not get zapped whoa oh jeez figure out how to get the up like that because it's over there it's on can't see it now, but it's on top of that like barrel behind that tree. And I tried so many times to like jump onto it, and I just could not get it. I don't even know how I can get over there now. I don't know. I'm gonna have to go for a swim. Pray for me. Uh, sure. Uh, yeah. Is she the one during the winter solstice? Hmm. Whatever it is where they're like, they just accept that the, one of the holidays is based around one of the gods, like, forcibly marrying, quote unquote, the other one.
Apparently Pokemon Snap already has some new uh content. It's free. Yeah, I don't have that game. That's another one I'm going to get. Well, the thing I've been hearing is that it's kind of underwhelming. Someone was talking about how like I was having so much fun playing new Pokemon Snap. And I thought I was like doing all these super creative stuff and I felt so cool and then I went on social media and everybody was posting basically the exact same pictures because there's really only so much you can do when you have everything. And it's like, yeah, I mean that's that's kind of the problem. Inherently with the, the rail shooter like photography game. I think that's the only one in that genre, but never really realized it until you could share the pictures so openly. Let me see... Okay, I've already gotten all of Rockville. I figured I'd have to, like, take out the guy who was throwing stuff. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna go back. Let's see. I don't have most of Sandover still. I got one left there. Oh. Yeah, I also gotta get all the, the precursor orbs I'm missing in those places. Missing a couple in Fire Canyon. And a few more in here. Got them all in there. Okay. I got them all in the, like, jump jet or whatever. The precursor basin, yeah, I got all the eggs there, but I still got a few of these. The Gambler. Oh, return to the... Oh, right, I did the race now. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a break real quick, and then I will get around to some of that stuff. So don't go anywhere. Don't touch the internet dial. I'll be right back with some more Jack and Dexter. Here be. Ad is started. Um, something to try. I'm pretty sure...
Going ghost. He's a phantom. All right, I'm back. All right, so I gotta go back to the game room. Right over here. Oh, so this guy was a waste of my time. I mean, he did give you a power sword, and then it's like, oh, and he fixed your bridge that I didn't need. I knew that time record would fall. Now here's your power cell, and I can go collect my big payoff! Sure. Speedy fast, speedy fast, speedy furious. Alright, so I'm actually gonna go back into the base, I guess. Nasty right fuckers.
which I didn't even realize was there because it was tucked behind a tiny little crack. That's a frustrating level design, dude. Wow. Hurry! There's the next three! Yeah. 
a lot of the games we were able to play are, uh, like, super obscure ones. Nobody cares about. I mean, not really. There will sometimes be, like, a weird dynamic, uh, but, like, yeah, the majority of them, it's like, nobody's heard of that in my hand. Why would I go over the water? I'd have to go fully turn around anyways. The fact that they expect you at any point to fully turn around is ridiculous. It's not hard for like... It, it's hard in bullshit ways. Like, if you're reaching them, it's like, okay. Like, that can be difficult, but like... Being able to see where they are... And it's like, well, like, I missed it, and I didn't have fucking options. So, like, there's really almost no way to hit all of them the first time around. There's nowhere at least the general track is. And that is pretty strange. Oh, no! Jumped too high. Jumped way too high. This one is probably the purple grass, so I don't know how to do that. And I guess, uh, yeah, I got all the eggs, so. It was too big, not what I wanted. Uh, if you want to do me a favor and, like, Okay. 
cocaine ruin your brain. Hey, do not do cocaine. Hey. Hey! Oh, oh. Just like three. Oh, okay. I guess this is Eco-infected. But then maybe it's just because I've got low expectations. Okay, your moment of gloating is over. Get on with it. Rude. What a rude man. Hold on, I'm gonna save real quick. I'm not used to games that don't have autosave. Oh yeah, that's another big thing in Skyward Sword is autosave. Okay. The original did not have it, and it like basically auto saves every time you go into a new area or go near a friggin' like a statue. Which seems like a little much, but it's like, why not, you know? Open up the safe and sound. Not very good for my guts, though. My guts disagree. Leave. I'm still missing some eggs here. Nope, not. Where's the line? Rock Village. Now. Okay. I can get back to my research. Right, they're gonna be in the friggin' uh, uh, thing. Yeah, but I don't know. I know there's like some blue eco over here. There's one. I don't know where I'd get another one. Let's see, would it be around in here? No. The rocks have feelings too. Oh, oh, wait, there's another one. Okay, so I gotta get that one and that one. Here I go! Go, 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 go! Say, like, maybe they should have play tested that part a little more to recognize that people would struggle with that. You're gonna have to get back, I don't know what's up with that. I do love the cool. Oh, yeah.
Oh god, that takes so much air to do that voice. <laughs> uh, no, I just did. It actually, I think it spawned me back. <laughs> nice. That's hilarious. I got a stream marker. That I've been trying to do a more. I haven't actually taken the time to highlight in a while. Yep, that's everything. Sweet. Now I gotta do Sandover and the uh, jungle. Um. I think it's just because I've been working so much. Doing fish on that one earlier today. Probably get some more, hopefully. Hopefully. <coughs> Better days tend to be more. Or Saturdays. Thursdays tend to be more. Uh, I don't know Should have double jumped. I was just a little too low. But it's like I want to take the first jump as far as I can because I'm trying to jump for distance. He just he jumps so heavy. Like he does not go nearly as high. Like look at he moves so much in the animation that you'd expect him to jump way higher, but he does not. Hey! Alright, let's try that again. Oh. More. Can I do it? Yeah! I so good this game. Dang, sick, uh, sick breakdancing, bro. Here he is. This must be a precursor oracle like the sage always goes on about. I hope they weren't as ugly in person. Who awakens the oracle? Get Wait. Back. One of you has the light within. Please. From before Thank time, you. I have watched and waited <laughs> for the true hero to return. Present hey, yeah, yeah, you want it, got 120 it. precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. For your yeah, gift, plenty. another power cell is yours. Nice. Whoop, there he went. <laughs> Can I... Oh, I don't have enough egg. for the oracle. I have all the eggs in the village. I think you still have some in the... Mm-hmm. 
and the rock. What's guys a rock? Is that the tutorial area? Crap. Well, alright. I'll head back there. That should be easy enough. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some on Central Beach still. Go in here because there's a little table in the way. I can't move that table. Why couldn't you guys put, I don't know, a door in the way? I believe that he can't open a door, but he can't just move a little table. That's goofy. Uh, wait, no. Blue Sage, I don't want to go Blue Sage. How do I want to go Rock? Anyone, anyone at all, come in. Just need some egg. Um, ooh, I can make use some of that keepy mayonnaise to use the grilled cheese. I'll make that I'll make that for lunch after I'm done streaming here. Doing that, that frozen pizza for dinner. Yeah, I think way too many people find me in Happy Sugar Life without watching it. And would be horrified if they found out that it's about a uh, child predator. It's it's about child predators and a lot of sexual assault. Yeah, that's the worst part is that she is cute. Yeah, specifically so that it's like, oh, she would never do that, but the whole point is like, it doesn't matter that she's cute, she is still a, a child predator. She's still literally kidnapping a child. basically shut it's basically showing an example but not showing it being resolved whereas fruits basket is about eventually resolving that through your own self-actualization They're probably in a clump somewhere. Frustrating at this point. But like my favorite games are collectathons like this. 
specifically Banjo Kazuki. Banjo Kazuki. I want a new Banjo Kazooie game. When will there be a new Banjo? Yeah, that's a big point somebody made, is that's the reason they refused to pay for the college, because then there would be, it would remove the incentive that almost every army uh, recruit gets in there for, is college. And guess what, that college isn't uh, super useful in the end either. You basically get, like, to go to some crap like community college. Ah, here we are. Egg. Did it, it did. I should do a piano stream sometime. I've gotten b decent enough at piano that I feel like I could play a few songs. I'd have to put up a set list. I, I know I'm getting close to five months playing, and my plan has always been um, when I hit six months, I'm gonna do a recital stream, basically. Like, let all my family know about it. But yeah, at five months. I'm gonna start basically rehearsing for that. Um, you know, pick out a set list and stuff. I gotta, I'm gonna ask, like, my dad and Satch if they, uh, have any tips. Since they have both done a lot of live music performance. There's a voice on that bird. Finding that the vertical setup is way better for voice funding because I can reach the accept project way easier. Last chance, Dallas, don't miss City in Color, performing live, or Rosa Blues, Dallas. I mean, you said Dallas, so I presume it's House of Blues, Dallas. At House of Blues, Los Angeles, you gotta drive. Aw, oh, come on, seven seconds. <sighs> taking a while? Yeah! When it takes a while, that usually means I got it. It'll be pretty much immediate if I can't get it. Cool! Uh, I'm going to get back to the jungle and save and then go record this real quick. And then I will uh, finish up the jungle. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, 100% all the areas that I've already been to. And then, um... Okay. Um... And then call it a day. Oh, weird. This the instructions for this one are confident and upbeat, but not polished. So I guess do they want to like count? You want me to eat a banana first? Drink a cup of milk. I think they may basically just want the conversation of like kickstart your career. Rather than like kickstart your computer. Whoop. Except. Did I get that one too? Yes! Uh oh, is that a third one that I might miss? No, that's just the first one. The second one popping up. Cool. Okay, yeah. Uh, I want to go to Green Sage's hut, right? That's the one in Sandover. Okay, so let me check. Uh, I'll probably have enough ores by the time I 100% all these. What am I missing at Sentinel Beach? Scout. Oh, I gotta get the last scout fly. Okay, I'll do that. So right now I'm gonna save, go record these things for work, and I'll be back to do the last few things in the areas I've been in. So save. Saved. All right. I will be back in just a bit, so don't go anywhere. Don't touch that internet dial. I will be back with more Jack and Daxter in just a bit.
All right, I am back. Apologies for that. Work has to come first, unfortunately. But, uh, gotta find the last scout fly on Sentinel Beach. And actually, do I need... I got all these eggs. Wait, no, that's Sandover. We're looking at Sentinel Beach. Yeah, I'm missing, like, 16 eggs. So let's head over there and do that did. Make it happen. Whoa. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. That's not what I meant to do at all. <coughs> Alright. I also got to have coffee today. It's so like, on most days, I don't have time. So I just do my pre-workout, which is like, a, like basically a little more than two cups of coffee worth of caffeine and stuff. Um, but then yeah, when I'm at home, I can just chill out, make some coffee, have like a nice breakfast. It's very chill. Very, very nice time. I usually have like a bagel and avocado, but we are out of bagels and avocados, so... We're getting the groceries pretty soon though, so... Not too bad. I feel like I could probably get more avocados um, before uh, they would like, go back before I can use all of them, but like now um, that I keep them in the fridge, I basically like let them get ripe and then I put them in the fridge and I basically keep them in stasis at the perfect ripeness for like way longer than you really would. And that means I can have It's fatty. But that's good, that's keto baby. Um or it, no, I don't know what to But it's it's tasty and as a breakfast I can like I can eat that, feel good, and also my body's like, yeah, so I fat, maybe we should go out today. That's, yeah, exactly. Like, I, I am not a scientist, but according to a food scientist I've watched, it said if you eat that as your first meal, and like, not too much carbs, it tells your body what's burned, but then you eat carbs later, you know, like carbs with like a lot of fiber and stuff, um, and then you'll have energy for the next day. That's really how most impressions work. If you're like, hey, hey, I'm gonna do an impression, and then like, just like, good, 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 good. Everybody will be like, yeah, that wasn't that great. But if you just like, do it, and don't draw attention to it, and feel real confident, let's be like, wait, was there an impression there? Is that an impression, bro? Dude, was that Jack Sparrow? <laughs> I've watched, I've watched my map, but where is the, where's the tequila at? Oh, but I've got your dirt. I don't know. Yeah. I remember on a Bim Bam they were talking about impressions because like one of the questions they got was like, I wanna... Or no, I do like impressions around the office and now they're like... Everybody's like, you should join the company talk show with your impressions. And they were just like, that's a trap. Your impressions are not good and they're trying to embarrass you. Listen, if you do any impression publicly, you're just like, oh, I'm Jack Sparrow. Right there, I just immediately got less cool. There's stuff up there. Up where? Oh, okay. So you just pointed at the TV and at this angle, that's basically everything in my view. Uh, how do you say? Does. Whoa, whoa, 
whoa, whoa, whoa. Nope, nope, nope. I guess you just got to walk the hell. Nope, he really makes some slides. That's a bit. But you have to, like, it just spawns the thing and you have to still grab it. Boat. Boat. Oh, I still got 11 missing. Where are they? There's some out in the water. I thought I got them. Get and like 
specific tension to your leg to vibrate right. It's, it's tricky. It takes a lot of practice. There he is. Okay. Pan me. did, I'd have to go and check them. Ah! No. Ah, I hate those! What, a, what an annoying piece of work that is.
1970 some He was like a pretty boy. Like that was that was them basically getting like the Zac Efron of the time. And everybody was like, oh, this pretty boy's gonna be his cool dude. Yes. Ah, oh, they're tucked under the waterfall. That's There we go. There we go. Yeah, in fact I'm gonna run over to the jungle real quick. I got just enough time. To run over there so that I'm set to do that in the next stream. Maybe not enough time. It's very slow. Jack. Get Daxter off your shoulder, dude. We'll go faster. What he's doing up there is ripping toots. Hey, jeez, Jack. Oh, wow. Hey. <laughs> that's that's how he talks. Oh hey, uh, I'll be back. That's what the fart said. I don't know. Uh, but I'm all out of bubble gum. Oh jeez, hey. Uh, you son of a bitch. Whoa, this is a kid's game. Can't say that one. Hey ho, oh, hey. Same action movie quotes that cannot be included. <laughs> Some motherfuckers always trying to ice skate uphill. Hey ho! <laughs> that one's from Blade. It's hilarious because it doesn't make any sense in context. It, it characterizes him. So well. Put that back. Oh geez. Alright. Here we go to save. And I will double check my stuff. Alright. We got all of whoop. Uh, I still need 120 orbs for that one. Got everything up through Lost Precursor City and the Precursor Basin. I, I've been to Boggy Swamp just at the very beginning, but I haven't gotten that. And yeah, I need... I need five here in the jungle. The one little, like, lifty thing in the Rock Village. And that'll catch me up. That'll be about 50% through. Alright, that's gonna do it for today. So I want to thank you very much for inviting me into your home, your computer, your tablet, your game console, your Roku, Apple TV, laptop, phone, whatever it is you watched on today. I hope I brought some entertainment and levity into your life. I hope you'll consider following and subscribing. Be sure to use your Twitch Prime sub, which if you have an Amazon Prime account, you can get for free once a month if you just connect your Twitch and Amazon accounts. Follow me on Twitter at IggyDKid where I post up when I go live and any videos that I post on Iggy and the Ape on YouTube, youtube.com slash Iggy slash Iggy and the Ape. I post a bunch of stuff there. Um, what else? Oh yeah, check out Iggy Kid's Twitch Archive. That's three words, Iggy Kid Twitch Archive. It's linked down below on the browser version. That's where I post all my past streams. You can watch all of them from there. And, yeah, I hope you'll join me on Saturday for that game organizing stream I was saying. Should be a chill time. Hope you enjoy that. And, hey, no one else has told you this. Oh, okay. You're a good kid. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, let me see if there's anybody that I can raid y'all over to real quick. Um, Saura is streaming, so let's, let's stream you over to Saura now. I'll raid you guys over there. Just a minute. Just a minute. Gotta go back to the screen. Alright. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. 
enjoy Sour's stream. Let me know I sent you. Hope it's young.